Hi everybody. Uh, in lieu of the current availability of sparring and tournament footage that I have, I will instead be covering uh, a good amount of reviews for the material that I've collected over the past couple of years and I'm finally comfortable with talking about. So for starters, I would like to review the Messer that I won my first gold medal with, which is the Krieger M1 Messer. And I will be uh, discussing the handling, materials, ergonomics, and uh, customer service that I experienced with this messer. I have a lot of positive experience with this messer, so keep that in mind. This is an overall positive review, uh, but I do have some thoughts on how this messer can be improved. That being said, that may be uh, a bit of a moot point at, uh, at this current point in time because I believe that this messer is no longer on the market. I think that it has been replaced by, what's it, the M3? Uh, that has the uh, simplified cross guard for a Krieger. Um, and they might have corrected the issues that I have with this messer, and if that's the case, I would be very interested in getting a hold of one. Um, but going forward, uh, as far as handling is concerned, it doesn't necessarily handle as you'd expect an archetypical messer to. And by that I mean it doesn't have a significant degree of forward roll to it. It has some authority in the cut. Uh, it's certainly not a dueling saber by any means, but it's uh, doesn't necessarily have uh, the authority that you come to expect from uh, messers, especially the ones that you tend to see in the uh, effect books. That being said, and it is also on the light side as far as messers go, but all that being said, uh, it is not necessarily outside the realm of historical accu uh, accuracy. There are certainly um, more narrow profile messers that are more thrusting oriented, and if you want, you can uh, ascribe this to filling that role. Uh, it has, is very uh, gentle on the uh, strikes. I can, I don't necessarily need to uh, pull my strikes very often with this messer, although I highly recommend that everybody still do. Um, so therefore, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for learning any binding and winding systems with messer. If you do countercut systems, that would be more appropriate, I would say, uh, and that's what I tend to use this for. Uh, but uh, if, and also, if you want to compete uh, in Messer tournaments, this would also be a good, a good one. That's why I got it for. And if you wanted to compete in a Messer tournament as somebody who's primarily experienced in Saber, I think that this also might be a good pick for you. Uh, regardless, uh, going on, moving on to the materials, uh, the grip, I absolutely love the grip material. This is my the favorite my favorite grip material that I have seen uh, in pretty much any messer that I have handled. It is a synthetic material somewhere between plastic and rubber, and it feels wonderful and uh, tactilely uh, in a bare hand. And you have a good amount of feedback in a glove. Uh, red anything from red dragons to lighter gloves to uh, even spes heavies. Um, the guard is incredibly durable. I absolutely love this guard. Uh, you can probably see that it's pretty dinged up. I'll give you a good view of the grip as well. But you can probably see that the guard is pretty dinged up, but it has not broken. It had it. It did uh, loosen, uh, but that was due to something else. And also, the top rivet snapped off during uh, the first month of my having it. Uh, to my knowledge, that is an uncommon uh, event, and I did get in touch with Krieger about it. They said they'd be more than happy to send a repair kit consisting of a set of rivets. Uh, I think that was it, but um, that never arrived. I don't know if that was an issue on Krieger's side or if it just got lost in transit, but it, I was able to operate fine without it either way. Um, moving on to the blade, the blade has a decent amount of flex to it. It is a it has no uh, uh, distal taper, it only has profile taper. Um, and uh, it has a rolled tip, which I prefer a spatulated tip, but since this is like a sheet of steel, I can understand why you would do that. Um, I would hope that it would be slightly more rounded, but regardless, it is uh, certainly a sparring friendly blade, a high intensity sparring friendly blade as well. Uh, it has taken a slight bend, but not enough to be detrimental anyway, and it did snap at the guard, and I have had it repaired since then by a friend of mine, but uh, 
and so take everything I say at the moment with a grain of salt because my experience with the current um, state of this semester might color my past experiences. Uh, moving on to ergonomics, the grip. Like I said, I love the material of the grip. It is my favorite material of the grip. I wish that it was flush. You Hopefully you can see that there is a step in between the scales and the tang. Uh, to my understanding, the more updated model uh, has sandwiched the tang so that it is fully encasing it, uh, which should, in my mind, I think that would fix the issue. But in bare hands or light gloves, this can lead to hot spots uh, and potentially blistering. Um, I've had no issues with the blistering, but it certainly is not necessarily the most comfortable. It also has a swelled grip. I am personally uh, in favor of a flat grip for Messer, but that's just personal preference. This allows for a really solid anchor, particularly towards the base. If you're wearing, if you're using heavier gloves, uh, you don't need to worry about losing this Messer in uh, a off swing and like a, a botched cut. Uh, so in that regard, it is good, but it can, it isn't necessarily the most comfortable grip. The guard, again, I absolutely love with this guard. Uh, the noggle is, is straight enough for long enough that it doesn't uh, rub up against the knuckles. It doesn't get caught in uh, in gloves, particularly like heavier gloves like Spez gloves or Pro Gauntlets, like some other noggles that are more aggressive flaring do. And uh, like I said, it's a really good material. It's very comfortable. I absolutely love this guard. I'm so happy that it seems that they've kept it. Uh, blade, that comes down to, again, personal taste. It isn't it isn't a very complex feel, like it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have a lot of roll, to, a lot of blade roll to it. It feels like you're swinging a stick. It really does feel like you're swinging a metal stick. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Messers are not mentally complex things. But if you want something that feels um, more high end, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it in that regard. That being said, it has served me just fine. Um, even after it broke and I had it fixed, uh, I can keep up with everything from rapiers to long swords and it's sturdy enough to uh, keep up with rapiers and the long swords uh, even the heavier ones that uh, you might want a heavier measure for uh, as far as customer service goes i already addressed the issue with the rivet um, i wish that they had a bit of a longer warranty they have a six month warranty whereas uh, to my knowledge a year warranty is more common in the human market that is completely a business choice i understand that but uh, the snapping of the blade happened six and a half months uh, after I got this messer, and so it broke my heart that I was just outside of the, uh, the deadline. Uh, I wish that I could have uh, replaced this messer and you continue to use this messer uh, because I absolutely uh, loved it as is. I love it as it is now, but though it has lost about four inches, it is my smaller, sassier messer that I enjoy um, pestering Harlan Hema with. Uh, because they do a lot of dueling saber or infantry saber or rapier or more nimble weapons and I can keep up with them just fine with this. So uh, those are my thoughts. I would love to try out the uh, updated model. Uh, I do believe that it's what might be, it's one of the few models that I haven't gotten a chance to handle yet. So I'd be very interested in seeing how it differs from this one. Um, other than that, I'm, oh also I know that London Longsword uh, just did a larger review on Krieger and it looked like this is it looked like they had the updated version of this messer so I'm curious to see his thoughts on it. I haven't watched it yet but uh, if it if my if the issues that I have with it are fixed I'd be very interested in getting the M3 because I really love the look of it I really am I was excited that they kept apparently all the features that I liked and uh, improved the features that I didn't necessarily like so with that being said uh, I very much enjoy this messer. It's an excellent competition messer, even if it's not necessarily the best for uh, binding and winding systems. It'll work fine for counter cut or parry repose systems. So uh, keep that in mind uh, if you're planning on purchasing it, or assuming that all the issues carry over to the re to the newer models. Keep that in mind with those newer models. And if I have any, if I am able to get a hold of a newer model, uh, I would be very happy to provide an update for. Uh, this messer going forward and would happily advocate it. All right, you guys have a good one.